Hey guys, welcome back to Home Theater Gurus. Today we've got a Q&A question from Nicholas. He says, should surrounds be directional or flat on the wall firing into the room? So, of course, he probably just means a surround being flat or should you aim it at the main listening position? If you've seen the Q&As before this, in my opinion, you should not have your surrounds behind the seats. If you have home theater seating, they will be blocked. But yes, uh, they should be aimed at the seat. Now, I like them a little bit forward. Like I said, there's been some blind tests that prove that people actually like the sound of surrounds slightly forward. Not much, but a little bit. If you do that, just aim them straight because then you can also benefit because the seats closest to that surround, you know, they're, they're slightly forward of our heads, just a little bit, a few degrees. That person sitting right next to that surround, instead of that tweeter blasting straight, into their ear, you know, if the, if the surround was at 90 degrees, it's slightly forward, so the tweeter, the on-axis is right in front of them, it's a little bit less annoying for that person. So, surrounds, if they're placed, like I like to place them, keep them flat. If you've placed them behind you, like I said, make sure you can see those things. Make sure when you recline, a seat back isn't block, blocking them, make sure a head isn't blocking them, that one speaker's responsible for carrying everything from the front of your room to the back of the room, you know, on the bed layer. It's got a huge job. If it can't be seen, even if you attenuate it two or three dB, it's going, you're going to have very poor panning. Doesn't take much at all. It's gonna be a very, very poor panning across the room. Now you may be asking, what do I do if I've got two rows? Uh, well, putting it between the rows just means every row has a poorly placed surround so you don't want to do that uh personally i like arrays now of course some people are like you know arrays have comb filtering well your mains have comb filtering every time you have two speakers in the room playing at the same time there's comb filtering doesn't mean it sounds bad uh i am a huge fan of arrays i even do arrays with atmos speakers so if you have let's say a sound that, or an object that should be around 135 degrees, slightly behind you, 120 degrees, just somewhere behind the main listening position. If you do a 0.4 or even six Atmos speakers for that back row, it's gonna be in front of them. So if I have six Atmos speakers, it's not gonna be six channels. I don't do that anymore. I do a back array, a rear array. And that way the object is properly placed and it's at least behind both rows but you have to be able to aim those speakers. It takes a special speaker with a hell of a lot of aiming capability because you've got to aim them so one set doesn't interfere with the other set because you don't want to smear. So it, it takes some work. I show my clients how to aim the speakers. We have to use a particular speaker to do that. But uh, so yeah, arrays. Arrays are what you want to do if you have multiple rows. I just, uh, I know he didn't ask that question, but that's something a lot of you are probably thinking. And uh, then there's some people that like to delay the back set of surrounds because, you know, like, well, we have comb filtering, we have to get rid of it. If you delay the back set of surrounds, in time, you're going to smear it to the rear because it's delayed from the surround. And as objects are moving front to back, it's going to the rear back there, or if it's going to the rear, you've now delayed the back set of, of surrounds, so it's, it's in timing too close to that rear. And then if that object comes back around and goes from back to front, because you've delayed the second set of surrounds, the object moves from rear to the front surround, then to the back surround, then to the main, it's all jacked up. All because you're worried about a little comb filtering that in reality doesn't sound bad. Like I said, you got comb filtering anytime your mains are playing the same content. So hopefully that answers your question, Nicholas. I know we went a little bit over or beyond what you asked, so if you have any more questions, just drop them down in the comments below, guys. I will talk to you all next time.